Hi friends, Ms. B here. I wanted to show you an activity with a tennis ball. I know last time we talked about how you could write letters or numbers on the outside of the tennis ball. This time I have a way for you to turn a tennis ball into a mouth. And so then you could do lots of fun things with this tennis ball mouth. You're gonna need mom and dad's help with this because it revolves cutting into a tennis ball. So as you can see, I made a slit in my tennis ball. It requires you to get an X-Acto knife or something very sharp, so no doing it yourself. Make sure your parents do this for you. And then once you have this tennis ball mouth, you can decorate it, make it into anything you want. I put dots on either side of the mouth for mine so that I know where to put my thumb and my two fingers to help open it up. My mouth is pretty big right now on my tennis ball, which means I don't have to squeeze quite as hard. If I wanted to make it a harder skill, I could make the mouth a little bit smaller and then I'd really have to squeeze to open it up. The reason why we use this is that if you look the way I'm holding this, this translates into the same way we need to hold our hand when we do other fine motor tasks, such as holding a pen or a pencil, notice? Little finger and second ring finger are in my palm holding on to my hand, and the pencil or pen is being held by my thumb and my two fingers. Same two way I hold the tennis ball and open and close his mouth by squeezing. When I'm squeezing and working on this opening and closing, I'm strengthening all those muscles in my hand as well as the muscles in my wrist. Those need to be pretty strong and pretty stable so that you can have some really nice handwriting. I have a regular size tennis ball here, but I wanna show you my really, really most favorite one is I found this one in the store. It's like a little tennis ball for dogs. And I made a tennis ball mouth. It kind of looks like he has a beard and a mustache because I cut it where the letters were, but again, I made the mouth kind of big so that I can open and close it. If you wanted to, you could make it a little bit tinier and you have to squeeze a little bit more. So what do you do with a tennis ball when it has a mouth? Well, you can feed it different things. These are just little erasers. So I'm feeding it. When I feed it, I have to either work on that sustained keeping of it open, which means I have to work on building my muscles to hold this open, or I can open and close and open and close as I need to. The other thing is I'm using one hand to do one thing while my other hand is doing something different. And this is what you do when you cut, you hold your scissors in one hand while you hold some, the paper in the other hand. This is what you do when you zipper. You hold one side of your coat with one hand and the other side of your hand is the holding the zipper and pulling it up. So this is a great skill to work on that bilateral coordination, which means I'm using two hands at the same time in a coordinated fashion. If you wanted to, to feed the mouth, you could always rip paper, make those balls using one hand. You could switch to the other hand and feed him or her, however you want. If you wanna add a little movement to this activity, you can place things all over the house and walk around with your mouth, picking them up and putting them into the mouth. When he gets too full, when he's kind of like stuffed, you can start again, or you could try to get him to kind of give it up this is kind of fun. Some people kind of like being able to feed him and then having him dump it all out. Or if you put paper in and it's hard for it to come out, you gotta go in there and get it out, which means you have to still work on that ability to keep his mouth open while you get those fingers in there. Don't worry, even if he chomps on you, it's just the tennis ball and it's not gonna hurt. If you wanted to, if you have a multiple of them, you could have a puppet show talking back and forth. You could irritate your brother or sister by coming after them and talking to them. I suggest you don't do that too much these days because we're all kind of not so fun having it at home and we really don't want to be irritated. We could have fun,
but we don't want to be bothering our friends or our family. So something fun you can do with a tennis ball. Bet you never thought of this before. And yes, for those of you who are old school, he does kind of look like a Pac-Man. Have fun. I hope you have a good time. Hope to see you really, really soon, boys and girls. All right, bye-bye.